Hello, my name is Michelle from the Technology Learning Center at the Cape May County Library. Today I'll be making cool pixel art in Google Sheets. You'll need a Google account, which is free and easy to create. First, let's search for pixel art and start with something simple like a Pokeball. I chose a picture with large grid lines so that it would be easier to follow. Now open Google Sheets. It's Google's equivalent to Excel spreadsheets. Sign into your Gmail account and look in the upper right hand corner for the nine dots signifying Google Apps. You should be able to scroll, scroll through and find Google Sheets. Choose the big plus sign to open a blank spreadsheet and give it a name like pixel art. We can change it later. Next, we'll resize the rectangular blocks of the spreadsheet called cells into squares. This is what pixel art is all about. Select all of the cells by clicking the box in the left corner. On the line between the A and B in the top row, click, hold, and drag your cursor to the left until the A column looks squarish. Release the click and all of the other cells will magically change to squares too. Right now there are only 26 columns. We can add more by clicking on the Z at the top of the last column to highlight it, then right clicking and choosing insert one right. Keep adding columns up to AJ. Next we'll make a color chart. Set up your chart by typing the numbers 1 to 10 in the first column, one number per box. Pro tip, insert numbers 1 and 2, highlight both cells, and use the square in the bottom of the right corner of the, to automatically complete your numbers. Next, select all the cells in that sheet again, that magic box in the upper left. Now click on Format and choose Conditional Formatting. In the Format Rules section, choose Is Equal To in the drop-down menu and then type a 1 in the value box. Under formatting style, we will change the font to red and the fill to red as well. This means anytime you type a 1 in any box in our spreadsheet, it will turn red. Cool, right? Let's add another rule that 2 will be orange and more rules for each color. Conditional formatting means that if a condition is met, then the cell will be a certain color. You've heard this kind of computer instruction in our coding classes. Once you have all your colors, you can cl click the Done button. You should see all of your rules listed. Then click the X next to the conditional format rules to close the box. Finally, we're ready to make art. Following the picture of the Pokeball, add the colors into the chart by typing the numbers in each box. When you're done, you can click on View and remove the grid lines. Sheets can't save your work as a picture, so we'll need the snipping tool to capture it. Choose a name and save your work as a JPEG. Want to make more art? Under File at the top of our first project, choose Make a Copy, enter a new project name, and turn the grid lines back on. Erase your Pokeball by highlighting it and hit Backspace to remove the cell contents. This way you don't have to recreate all the color chart rules. Check out my new project. I found patterns to use that look a lot like pixel art in cross-stitch design books found in the library's collection.
I hope you enjoyed making pixel art today. Post a pic of your completed art to the TLC Facebook page or send us an email. We love to see your creations.